vinyasa flow yoga. Make sure you have your blocks and straps if you need them for tools. Make sure you modify anything you need to as necessary. Take as many child's pose or resting poses. Warm up what you might need to warm up. Practice according to your own body's needs. This is just for students of mine or those that are practiced uh, yogis who have been practicing for a while and are aware of their body's needs and the general practice of yoga. Get ready, here we go. Stand in mountain pose. Shoulders back, sternum lifted, crown of the head lifted, feet grounded, big toes together, thighs lifting up, sitting bones pressing down, belly drawing in and up. Inhale through the nose, the sky. Exhale, Ujjayi. Let's do that again. Inhale up to the sky, lace fingers press up, lift up, look into those hands. Exhale, arms come down. Separate your feet at distance, swirl around a little bit. Come back to your center, bend your knees, soften, hinge from your hips, lift up and sweep. Exhale back, lift up and sweep. And you can do these faster or slower, and you can take as many of these as you need. Bending, exhaling down, inhale, all the way up to the sky now, bring it up, arms to hands. Inhale, sky, breathe up. Let's go to your right side spine, twist, look around to your back hand, trying to revolve with your core, looking to your back fingertips, inhale up to sky. Exhale over to the other side, looking around to your back fingertips, trying to make both sides equal, hands equal distance from the floor, inhale back up to sky, exhale, namaste. Bring your feet as wide as your mat. Strong foundation, outer thighs engaged, inner thighs. Inhale, the sky reach up. Exhale, hands to your low back, top of your buttocks. And press your hips down as you bend in a small back bend. And move your hip flexors forward, soft knees. Lengthen, watch the back of your neck. Make sure you're not putting tension in that head, neck area. Inhale back up, come back up to sky. Exhale, hands to your thighs. Let's do a little hip opening. So tail wagging, Kanja Asana, side to side, tail wagging here. Let's round into a cat back, reverse into a cow, round into a cat back, reverse into a cow, round into cat back, and roll it up. Inhale to the sky, reach up. Exhale, namaste, bring your feet together. Powerful pose, sitting back, also called nickname, chair position, Ukatasana. Sitting back, exhale, fold, forward bend, Uttanasana, eyes look halfway, hard up. Exhale, hands down, step back to a down dog, feet are hip distance, spine long, sitting bones high, quads engaged and lifting, pelvic floor lifting, navel drawing in, deep breath, spread your fingers like starfish, Spread your legs, right, left, right, left. Inhale, lift up that right foot to the sky, three legged dog, deep breath here. Draw the navel in and bring that knee to nose. Inhale, it back up to sky, knee to nose. Bring it back up to sky. Step that foot between the hands. Hold that low lunge, lift up, right hand to sky. Look up to your top hand. Exhale, bring that back knee down, toe flat, bring the hand behind your back. Look up to your top arm, open your shoulder a little bit, work with your side waist, your core. Inhale, back up to sky, reach it back around, frame your foot, tuck your back toe, step back, mind plank. Shoulders underneath those, shoulders over the top of those wrists, I should say. Thighs lifted, toes tucked. Inhale, lift up and push back to your down dog. Your spacing between your hands and your feet should be such that you do not have to keep switching your feet position and your hands around to come from down dog to plank, come to plank, and back to your downward facing dog. Let's lift up that left foot to the sky, bring it up, bring that knee to nose, to the sky, lengthening up with maybe your fingertips, opening your heart, and bring that knee in again, knee to nose to the sky. Let's go ahead and step that foot forward. And you're lifting up your left hand, look up to your top arm. Keep breathing, opening your chest, trying to be vertical from your bottom hand to top arm. But I'm going to wait 
weight on that bottom hand. Drop that back knee, bring your toe down, hands behind your back. Look up to your top arm, past your shoulder, deep breath. And then inhale, bring that arm up and around. Take your back toe, step back to your planks, shift forward, bend your elbows and chaturanga to come to the mat. Toes go flat, wiggle through your buttocks, lengthen your spine. Lift up your cobra. Exhale, back down. Lift up low cobra again. Exhale, back down. Cupcake your left hand, bring your right foot back. Let's just do a little warm up quad stretch. Pull your heel, bring your hand around your right foot as you pull your heel towards your buttocks. You're not trying to make a back bend out of this, you're just doing a quad stretch. Exhale, back down, switch hands. Bring the left heel in towards your butt. Really squeeze your foot towards your buttocks. Now, if you're tight here, you can shake it out, wiggle it. You might even cramp up if you haven't been practicing for a while. Some of these movements might be really feeling tight. Exhale, back down. Bring your hands beside the chest. Lift up your mid cobra. Exhale, down. One more mid cobra to maybe full cobra. Cubic bone stays down, shoulders away from ears. Let's look over toward the right shoulder and down across the front. And then toward the left and down across to the front. And lift your head and lower. Bring your hands under your chin, lift your wiper those legs. At any point, you can stop and come to any of these warm up places. Circle your toes around in one direction and your ankles. Circle the other way. And then exhale, legs down. Bring your hands to the sides of your chest. Push up to your kneeling tabletop. Round the cat back here, full cat back. Head down, navel in, spine long. Rounding like an angry cat. And reversing, opening up the chest. Heart comes forward into cow. Low back is more curved here. You're increasing the low back curvature and you're opening your chest. Again, rounding your cat back and reversing into your cow. And then coming to your neutral, check your toes, push back to the downward facing dog, tread it out again here. Lift your right foot to the sky, deep breath up. Right foot steps forward, come to a high lunge. So dig with your toes, engage your thighs, lift up, balance, work with your front knee being an L, arms by your ears, navel drawing in, big breaths. Twist it out to your right side, open up, hands on the horizon. Come back to sky, working from your core. Exhale, arms and hands, lace fingers, press them up. Big breaths. Working with the strength of that back quad underneath your buttocks, engaging, bring the hands down to your hips, press down to come up, root to rise, bring your feet together, mountain feet, inhale up to sky, exhale, sit back, powerful, inhale up again, exhale, forward fold, eyes up halfway up, exhale, head down, then you can step back to a plank, one, two, shift and come through your chaturangas. This time upward facing dog. If you choose, come back to your downward facing dog. You can just walk back to a down dog and skip the vinyasa part. You can do a jump back if you choose. Lift the left foot to the sky, deep breath. Left foot steps forward into that high lunge. Plant your foot, engage your thigh. L shape in the front. Lengthen here, arms by ears. Back leg strong. Take a twist to your left side this time. One side might be tighter than the other. Big breaths. Inhale back up to sky. Big, big, big breaths. Exhale, hands behind your back this time. Lace knuckles down. Knuckles down. Maybe looking up. Working on that balance. Working on opening the chest, the shoulders. Inhale up to sky. Press down, root to rise. 
Step the hands to your mountain and exhale. Inhale the sky, reach up powerful. Exhale, fold. Inhale, eyes look. Go through full vinyasa again. Again, you can choose to step or jump back. Upward facing, lifting. Downward facing, top tucking, toes pressing back. Try that. Right leg to the sky again, lift up. Right knee to left elbow. Give it a baby twist. Come back up to Scott. Right knee to right elbow. Maybe giving it a little chaturanga. And up to sky. Right foot comes to step between. Let's do a warrior foot behind. So heel to arch. Inhale up and knee. Warrior one. Back foot to turn out about 45 degrees. Exhale up to warrior two. Look at your front hand. Reverse coming back. Exhale swimming down. Step back behind plank. Chaturangas. Upward facing dogs. Downward dog. Press it back. Left foot to the sky. Bring it up. Knee up. Left knee comes to right elbow. Little twist. Come back up. Left knee over that left elbow. And maybe taking a little charm. Woo! -hoo. Back up. Stepping that foot forward. Coming into warrior. Warrior one. Lengthen spine. Front knee bent. Warrior two. Looking at front hand. Reverse warrior coming back. Exhale, swim down. Come through your full vinyasa. Chavangas. To upward facing dogs. To downward facing dog. Tread it out. Lift up right foot to sky. Step it forward. Come to a high lunge again. And come up. Exhale, namaste. Do noose over that right thigh. Looking up. Opening chest. Come back up. Inhale the sky. Exhale, swan dive. Lift up your back foot. Take it to your standing split. You can stay with standing split. You can have hands on the block. Bending that back leg. Reach up. Find the foot. Find it. Maybe twisting. Looking toward my right shoulder. And let's bring that foot behind into your extended seagull. Bring your arms up. Lengthen the spine here. Squeeze those thighs. Namaste hands. Come down to come up. So you're going to root to your rise. Cross ankles into your cross ankles. Beginning of seagull. Inhale up. Now let's sit back. So you have a powerful pose to your position across the ankle. A little trickier. And now we're going to lift up. Take the back leg, which is your left foot, up. One leg is Tadasana. And step it down into your mat. Inhale, sky reach up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, eyes look. Exhale, fold, step back, jump back, chaturanga. Upward facings, downward facing dog. Lift up that left foot to the sky. Step it forward. I lunge again, lift up. Hands to noose. Take them over that left thigh, looking up, opening your spine. Deep, long breaths here. Mm -hmm. Can you twist just a little further? Breathing here. Come back to center. Inhale, arms up. One deep breath. And we're going to fold. For a fold, kick up right foot. Right foot comes up into your standing split. And maybe you just stay with this. Maybe you bend that top leg. Work on opening up that hip flexor and that quad. Head comes down. Really 
light on your bottom hand. Some of you may be working on putting that hand on your support ankle, working on the balance there. Maybe you're just slapping the floor and practicing that balance until you can get maybe just the balance of that one foot. Extend, extended. Seagull, arms out, chest up, big breaths. Mm -hmm. Chest open, thigh squeezing. I've got to do tight across ankles. So you call it. And let's sit back. So if you need to, you can pick up your heels a little bit, but try to ground all four sides of your feet. If you need to, you can wiggle one foot back or not, maybe come as deep into your chair. And then the back leg, the right leg becomes the one leg. It's not the knee. Up. And take it to mountain. Inhale, half a bow, sit back. Forward fold. Inhale, eyes. Go through vinyasa. Step down back. Chaturangas. Upward facing dogs. Downward facing dog. Work into a dolphin. Press those forearms down. Hands. Spider finger moves. Navel drawing in. Head looking between arms. Hips to the sky. Belly drawing in, breathing deep. Pressing through your hands, back to your down dog. Engage your belly, chest broadening, heart moving forward and down. Lift up that right foot again, deep breath to the sky, three legged dog. Bring that right foot forward, warrior one again. Lift up. Cactus arms, left over right, eagle arms, folding, bringing it down. Humble warrior with eagle arms. Maybe bringing those arms all the way to the floor. Maybe having them right on top of the leg, maybe right up here. Keeping that knee at an L, don't ankle it out. Try to keep knee over ankle. Breathe. One more breath here in the humble eagle. And I'm going to take that left hand, your left hand, bring it out in front of where your right foot is. You're going to square the hips, kick up into your revolved half moon, revolved half moon, lengthen, arm up, deep breaths. Let's step back into a pyramid stance. So you're going to step back on your balance beam. Open and float up arms into airplane and lift them to sky. Work on balance. Exhale out to your cross Rita for a moment. Inhale to sky. Exhale forward fold. Hips lifted. Cut big fingers. This is cross Rita A. Turn again with your right foot and turn to face the front of your mat. Rock it out a little bit. Lift up your left foot. And we're going to kick it or step it back and go through your vinyasa. So choices of jumping back, stepping back, upward facing, downward facing dog. Tread it out. Lift up left foot to the sky, deep breath. Left foot steps forward, warrior one. Push and lift. Reaching up. Warrior two. Open it out. Cactus arms. Nice. Okay, this time we're going to go right over left eagle arms and come down into your humble. Now you might be going really low, you might be staying higher. Keep working on deepening the breath. You could always come up and out of it. You could always have a block underneath. You could always work toward the floor. One more deep breath here. And then we're going to take your right arm, which is your top arm. Unhook it, bring it in front of where your left foot is, square your hips. Engage, lift up, kick, till you have a revolved half moon, the Pavrita style of the Art of Chandrasana. Big toe facing down, long deep breaths. Big breaths. Big breaths. See if you're going to hold that up and you can have your bottom hand on the block. Absolutely. 
And let's see if we can fly our arms and step way back in into that balance beam. Open arms to airplane. Big breaths. Drum stance. Lift up. Namaste hands. Namaste hands. All the way in. Big breath to sky. And come Prasarita to your right side. Deep breath. Inhale up. Exhale hands behind the back. Lace your fingers. You can always use the strap behind there. Big breath as you lift. Keep working your Ujjayi breathing. Do not hold your breath. Exhale forward fold from your hip hinges. Don't lock your knees. Prasarita C. Now, you can have various arm positions here. You can do that reverse namaste in your back. You could do holding just your elbows if you're tighter in your shoulders. You can rotate those arms past your head. All these options. Watch your shoulders. Be very careful of your rotator cuffs. One more breath. Curl it up. Inhale the sky. This time we're going to pivot back to the front again. So your left foot faces forward, back toe tucks, step up, forward fold, inhale eyes, exhale go through your vinyasa, so you're going to step jump, chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing dog, breathe. Lift up that right foot to the sky, deep breath, step it forward. Rock a little here. Hold that pyramid stance. Lengthen spine. Walk the hands back. We're going to work towards Flamingo. So you're going to kind of curl your chest a little bit. You're going to round your back and your chest over that leg. You can lengthen it forward. Heart comes forward. You're going to kind of kick your fingers backwards. And you're going to work toward pushing your head forward. And maybe bringing the back leg off of the floor, bent knee, looking past your front toe. Step it back down. Hands come around to the front. Try out a down dog. Bear pose bend. Down dog press. Bear pose bend. Down dog press. Lift that left foot to the side. Deep breath up. Left foot steps forward, let's rock that out. So just rock, bending. We'll see how it goes on this side with your flamingo. Hard pose. A lot of hamstrings involved here. Let's hold on to your pyramid. You can hold this whole pyramid stance. And we're gonna, hands are gonna go backwards. So you broaden across your collarbones, pressing against that front leg. So you're really trying to lengthen here from your sitting bone through the crown of your head but you're curling slightly over that front leg, really getting the space that you have between your leg and your chest tight against it. And ready. You're going to lengthen here. Let's see if I can get that back leg up. Up, 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 up. Breathe. And try to sit back. So you're sitting back a little bit at an angle with that front leg. Flamingo. Then sit it back. Hands go in front. Step in, forward fold. Inhale, lift to sky, reverse one dive up. Exhale, arms stay. Big breath to sky again. Inhale. Exhale, arms to cactus. Maybe looking up. Little baby back bend. Inhale, sky. Reaching up. Exhale, mountain pose. Standing on your left. Lift to one leg, get to the asana again. With that right knee up, bring that right knee into a balance. Tree pose. Tadasana. Reaching your arms out. Have to take any position you want. You can have a namaste hand, you can have a heart. You can bring your hands up like branches above your head. Eagle arms. Whatever you would like. Breathing. And then let's go to shooting star. Reaching out with that right foot out to the side. Leaning lateral bending to your left. I'm 
stay feet together. Samasthiti. So deep. deep breath, powerful abs. Exhale, fold. Inhale, eyes look. Exhale, let's go through the nails. So step, jump back. Turn on Upward facing dog. Lifting. Downward facing dog. Try it out. Look at hands. Step, jump feet to hands. All the way to sky. Namaste hands. And let's go tree pose on our side. So one leg to on the left. Breathe. Pause. Find your balance pose. We're going to take that foot. It doesn't have to be on the inner thigh of a tree. It could be below the kneecap. It could be on the ankle. It could be a kickstand on the floor. We're going to maybe changing hand positions. Maybe behind you. Maybe in front of you. Overhead. You do those eagles. You do those cactus choices. Maybe on the with your hands. And let's take it out to your shooting star. Trying to not let the foot go to the floor, but out to the side. And you're leaning to your right as your foot comes back. Breathing. Shooting star. Back in. Namaste to he. Hands in. Namaste. Powerful pose. Big breath. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, eyes look. Exhale, go through your vinyasa. Stepping, jumping back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Tread that out. Right foot to the side, lift it up. Right foot steps in between your hands. Hold it there, bring your back knee down. Rock back to your half split. Lengthen the spine. Open up chest. Don't lock your knee. Pad your back knee if you need to. Exhale, bring the hand down. Bring the arm underneath. And we're going to work the foot out to the side a little bit. And you're going to bring that head down. So just a bring your head maybe on the block, maybe to the mat. Just working a little bit on this sort of variation on any kind of a thread the needle. Breathe. Come back in, slide it in. All right, front knee is an L, back toe tucks, hold, one-armed lizard. So left arm's coming down, right arm's coming up, big breath, back legs tucked and up. Breathe, four, three, two, one. Both hands down, push back up, step back, down dog tread. Look at thumbs. Step or jump, feet to hands, eyes look halfway. Exhale, fold, reverse one dive up. Namaste. Powerful pose. Sitting back, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, eyes. Exhale, go through your vinyasa. Chirambas. Upward facing dog. Good. Downward dog. Left foot to the sky, bend it up. Left foot steps forward. Pause and hold. Rock it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Rock it out a little bit. And then hold. All right, then bring your back knee down. Bring your arm underneath. And bring both arms up. And bring your head down wherever you can bring it. Variation on that thread the needle. Big breaths. Maybe the crown coming to the ground. Maybe it's hovering. Maybe you put it on the block. Never forcing this. Bring it back in. This time, let's just flex back into your half split here. And wiggle your toe around. Now you might be, if you're cramping up, you know, move through it a little bit. Don't block it out. So here's a lockout where your joints are just, you want to use your muscles, tendon ligament all together as a team for that. Deep in breath. All right. Bring your right arm down, back toe tucks, lift into that half lizard, twist. So Uttam Prasasana would be a lizard, so we've got a variation on it, back leg lifted, and a twist here with the left hand to the sky. Deep breaths. And from here, bring the hand down, hands come to a plank hand, back foot to a plank, 
shift can go through your chaturangas, your upward facing dogs, your downward facing dog. Try it out. Bear pose, bend the knees, and then look forward, step jump, feet to hands, eyes halfway up, exhale, fold, reverse small back lift, come to sky, arch back, maybe farther if you're going warm back. Namaste hands, powerful pose, sitting back. Exhale, fold, inhale, eyes lift. Exhale, right foot steps all the way back and turn it for your triangle. So you have your foot turned out and cross your foot in the back. You're lifting up into your triangle pose. Right arm is up. Front leg is not locked. Back leg is straight. Front leg is straight. Hip opening here. Chest opening here as much as you can. You can have your bottom hand on the block. From here, bend your front knee, scoop up, come to Prasarita, inhale the sky, exhale Namaste. And we're just going to go the other way. So take your other foot, okay, and face it out, so be right, open up, and we're going to go out and down into our triangle on this side. So maybe opening up your spine a little bit more. So a little tight on this, I'm opening up my shoulder. I'm trying to open up that hip. Straighten both legs, maybe bottom hand. I'm gonna bring my bottom hand up a little bit. Like that even better. Open, so if you're tighter, you don't have to come to the floor. You're trying to open that side waist, open that groin, open through your thighs without locking your legs. One more breath here in your triangle. Inhale up, toes round across the rita. Inhale to the sky. Namaste. We're going to turn to the front again. Your left foot faces front, back foot in a lunge. Step forward. Samaste to heat. Mountain. Inhale to the sky, reach up. Exhale, arms come out on the horizon. We're going to step our feet as wide as the mat. Take a deep breath here. Do cactus arms. Lean to the left, shooting star with cactus arms. Purpose for this. And then we're going to take that hand down, that left hand to your hip. Right hand comes out. Bend your knee and see if you can pull your knee to the outside, your right knee, up and out, maybe holding knee, maybe holding toe into your standing V position. So, Ikapod V. And bend it again. Bring it in. Stick it out in front. You can put a D. Step it out as wide as the mat. Circle around. Circle it the other way. Good. All right. Belly tucks in. Sitting bones down. Arms out big. Inhale. Lift up. Cactus arms. All right. We're gonna lean cactus C over to your right, and your foot's in shooting star for a moment. Big breaths. All right. Taking your right hand to your hip, bringing your left hand down. Bend the knee and bring it out to the side as much as you can here. All right. Now sliding the hand. Maybe just holding the knee. Maybe trying to open up the foot to the side, which is really super tight on this side for me. So. And opening up to the side as much as you can. Leg going to the side, chest moving up. And try to keep your balance on top of all that. I'm just going to do knee position for just a moment. Mm -hmm. Tight, tight, tight leg for me there. All right, we'll bring it to the front. And hold. Maybe D. And bring it in. I'm just going to tie my legs on that side. And down with the foot. Inhale up to sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, eyes at halfway. Exhale, step and jump back. Chaturangas, upper facings, downward facing top, tread it out. So, on any of these poses, if you fall out as I fell out, don't ever beat yourself up for that. Feel that yoga is a process, it's not someone's better than someone else. It's in your personal best, working toward if something's tight, if something's healing, if something 
feels weak. It's something that has never been challenged that way. Just little baby steps, little at a time, working towards your poses. Inhale, right foot to sky, lift it up. Step it forward. Bend that knee, holding there. Sit back again into your half split. And possibly from your half split, sitting into your Virasana half of it, breathing. Mm -hmm. All right, then. And then bring the hands back and bring them behind your butt and lift your chest. All right, here, if you can, bend your knees, slide up into reverse tabletop. As you're in your reverse tabletop, press your feet in, lift up your chest, lift up your hips, long deep breaths. Exhale, buttocks comes down, hug the knees in, pull your chest up, big breaths, pull it up to a pike, draw both legs up, pike, 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 toes to the sky, chest to the legs, breathe. Cross your ankles, sit in Sukhasana, inhale the sky. Exhale, we're gonna fold over those legs. So folding over the legs does not feel good to come to tabletop, swing them around. Shift back and forth. Sweep it back and forth. As we're rocking it, sit back into your child's pose. Balasana, the child. And then up to your down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathe into that. Left foot to sky, bring it up, deep breath, step forward, right knee comes down. Rock it out a little bit up. And come into your half split. Lengthening, not blocking. And then maybe from here, and if you have a block, you may want to block to sit under your bottom, or you're going to come all the way back. But coming back, because there also can be intense on your knee hinges. It could be intense in your low back and hip. So if this is too much, you could come up higher. If you remember how to block me, you can put your block underneath your left bottom or a roll up towel or something underneath the whole hip section. Mm -hmm. Holding your asana. Breathe. And then we're gonna plant the foot, tuck the back toe, and see if we can come up Tiptoe, bring the hands back, step forward. So just trying different ways to get your foot out from under you and come into reverse tabletop here. So whether you've got a foot tucked down like that and bringing it up, whether it's behind you or in front of you or in another position, trying to work all the angles of the knees. Now if it doesn't feel right, Swing it around. If you start to feel that <laughs> feeling by the knee, shoulder, somewhere, wrist, come out. Okay, this time, breathing, inhale, lift the tables up a little bit higher. Exhale, bring it down. Hug those knees in again, tuck them in. Grab your big toes. Lift them up into Upavista Konasana. Chest open. And slowly tucking in with your right foot for Heron, bringing your right hand to your left foot. Open your chest, look around to your back arm, trying to keep your foot, front foot, back arm about the same line on the horizon. Breathing. Now bringing it across. Let's take the Lord of the Fish. So you're trying to hook it all the way over and bring that foot all the way back towards where your thigh is. If this is too much for you, you could have your foot in front. Mm -hmm. Or unhook it, inhale up to sky. Exhale, bring both fingers out. Looking toward the end of your mat. Lengthening here. Now push down the both of your sitting bones and lengthen across the front of your legs. Trying to stack both legs over each other. When we come out, we're gonna come to Ubavishta again. So ready? 
Sitting back, the legs come out, grab your feet, pull them back up into your booties to lift your chest. Open your legs wide, push through the heels of your feet. You could always be holding behind your thighs if you, if you want. And let's tuck in with the left foot this time. Switch hands, hair in pose, left hand on the right foot as you're looking at your back arm, front foot. Now, sometimes people do this pose and they're all crimped up like that. It's supposed to be a long angle from your front foot to your back hand. One more breath, it's a nice twist. Watch the rotator cuff, you're coming from the rib cage turning. And then come back to center, take a breath and bring that foot over to the Lord of the Fish. And as you do that, you're tucking it around, stacking the knees one over the other. That might not be happening, sitting down with both of your sitting bones. Inhale up to sky, reach. Exhale, holding it, cupcaking and reaching the head forward. This is a big stretch on both of your IT bands. And try to keep the booty down, chest moving forward, the head moving forward. Maybe we can a little farther. Some people fold all the way over that leg. Some people will be more here. Some people have the leg unfolded if it's too much. So these are the intensity poses, the soaking poses of our practice. One more deep breath here. And then inhale back up, slide the legs out. Let's see if we can take them two. Paschimottanasana. Inhale up to sky, from steps to Paschimottanasana. Forward fold, seated forward fold, lengthening, deepening the breath, opening chest, big breaths. Inhale to sky. Exhale, hands come back. We're going to work into fish pose. So I want you to bring your elbows back and your fish could be here and you can get your block. A lot of you may need your block behind your head, under your head, block under your head. So draw your navel in. Legs are super strong, toes are pressing up. Broad across your collarbones, broad your whole chest, lifting up through your sternum. It's a baby back bend. And letting it come back. Now if this is too much, have your neck position support it with your block. If this is okay, and you want to come deeper into your fish, you're going to drop your head all the way into the mat softly. You're still lifting your chest. You're still lengthening here. You're drawing your navel in. And you're not looking from side to side. It's a back bend. The hip gently touches if it's too much for the cervical spine and the neck. Come back out. Deep breaths here. Always breathing through your practice. Breath is, is the key for everything. All right, lift the head. Exhale, lay back down. Have both knees into chest. Rock from side to side. Lift the feet to the sky. Swing up to seated staff. Inhale, sky. Reaching up. Exhale, forward fold. Hashimotanasana. Love that fish pose. Inhale up. Exhale, namaste. We're going to go through a vinyasa and then we're going to have one more back bend series. So let's take a sukhasana and you can choose to swing back around and go through a vinyasa or you can rock back, come forward, step back or jump back. Let's come through chaturangas and your up dogs and your downward facing dog. So you can do those in many different ways. You can have it all linked together. You can swing it around, connect with your down dog and use it there. Choose your vinyasa. Deep breaths here. And let's slide to our knees. Hip distance, and you can pad under those knees if you want. Hands back, chest lifted. And exhale, hands to your hips. I find that during this time of our lives, inhale up, during this pandemic, exhale, twist right. That we're finding quite a bit of back tightness from sitting, slumping. Inhale up. I'm finding that in my own life, work to the left, and that back bends are really important. So we're going to go through camel, and now back up. And for those of you that don't like camel in the best of all circumstances, you can stay with baby camel, the beginnings of it. So it's still really good for us, because we want to stretch from our front hip flexors all the way up to the front of our body, and open your chest, and maybe just peeking up. So you're in your baby camel, and you're moving. You're moving those hip flexors forward, chest up. Back to center, inhale to sky, reach up. Exhale, hands 
at your hips. All right, now push those hip flexors forward again. We're gonna try to come to a half. So if you want, you can put a block next to the back of the foot, this foot, all right? And set it up and put your hand on it. Or you can tuck both toes, putting your hand back on the heel of the right foot. Or flat feet, hand coming to the heel, flat foot. Okay, inhale up with your left, find the length, press down with your sitting bones, don't pinch the low back. You're leaning back, reaching back. Right hand down to that heel block. And breathe as you lean back. And you work on that back bend. Camel Ustrasana. Engage your abs to come up. Bring both hands up. Exhale, namaste. Let's come to a tabletop, a little reprieve. Round your back into a cat. Should feel really good. Reverse into cow. One more cat. Rounding it up. One more reverse. Kind of neutral. Walk back. Inhale up. Namaste. Okay, we do one more baby back bend, baby camel. Pressing back so you always stay, but don't ever feel that you have to prove anything. Or choosing to put the block or tucking the toe, but tuck both. If you're gonna tuck so that you're equal in where your hips and your femur bones are, all right? So this time we're gonna go way up with the right. We're lengthening first, we're pressing down, pressing the bones. Leaning back with your left hand on your left heel or block and opening up, looking towards your top arm. Ustrasana. Once I might be tighter, you can always come out before I do because it's one of those soaking poses. Deep breaths. Hips moving forward. Take a breath, engage, and come up, lifting up. Exhale, hands to your tabletop. Wag your tail from side to side. Let's work on a little in between. So I want to do a full count. Let's work on just a little bit of a thread the needle lifting up right hand. Coming under, I want you to feel that twist. And I just want you to feel the chest opening, the back stretching where we've worked that back bend. And lengthen. And use your side waist. In all these twists, if you use your side waist, your obliques, your serratus muscles help you so much not to strain your low back. Hands come in, neutral, lifting up your left, take it in the thread the nail, walking your hand up. I like to open up. I, I know a lot of people like to melt in this, but I like to open up and keep my neck really open here so there's space under my neck. And, and really work on lifting in the obliques, the internal and external obliques and the serratus. Work on opening there and stabilizing the outer hip so that you're really stabilizing and working those muscles. One more breath here. Mm -hmm. Now bring it in and bring it up to your tabletop. Sit back to child's pose for just one moment. And you can choose to opt out of the full count like we'd like, or just do the baby count here. Back bends are good. If we, if we choose in our practice to always forward bend, a million forward bends, and never work on our back. I know they're harder, but gravity pulls us every day, and we need to use our poses as our counteract to what gravity may do to us. And it'll take us out of perfect alignment and balanced alignment. Let's come back to your neutral. And come up onto those knees again for your camel on the other side. Okay, so your full camel, I mean, full camel. Okay, so you're pushing your hips forward. And let's just lengthen here. And maybe you're in your baby camel and you go, oh, that's where I want to be. Uh -huh. Maybe you pull your hands down back, your legs a little bit more. Maybe you have two blocks, hand on each block. Maybe you flex your heels and you bring your hands to your heels here. All options. Go into your camels and whatever version feels right to you. Remember to protect the neck and the low back here. You can put padding under your knees and just open your chest and breathe, Ustrasana. Breathe. Soft 
inhale, coming back up. Inhaling, arms to sky, reach up. Exhaling, namaste. Big breath here, inhale again. Exhaling, forward fold. Sit back into your child's pose. As we sit back to child's pose, take another deep breath here. And come back, come onto your tabletop with your toes tucked all fours. Come back to down dog, tread it out. Lift your right foot to the sky, deep breath up. Right foot steps on the outside of your right pinky finger. And hold, so you're in a lifted lizard type position. Can you bring your right arm underneath? Let's try another little arm balance here. And Squeeze, you want to squeeze this right leg against the outside of the shoulder and the arm of that right arm. And then you're going to bring your hands back a bit. So you can stay with this. You can wiggle that back leg farther back. And you're going to reach out with that right leg, lifting up the back left leg. Koi Vinyasa. Come back down. Bring your foot down. Let's flex back into a half split. And then crab walk your foot out to your side. Bend your knee, lift your chest. Bring your right arm on the inside of that knee. Lift up and over. Side bending, lateral bending. The knee is like an L on that right side. Back up, arms on the horizon. Namaste hands, bring your knees down, sit back, Virasana on your heels, Vajrasana, I should say, Vajrasana, sitting on top of your heels. Inhale to the sky, exhale, tabletop, rock it out, rock it out. And you might be feeling that whole Ustrasana series. Tuck your toes down, dog, tread it out, make it feel good. Left foot to the sky. Left foot goes on that outside of that pinky finger. On that, let's so say you're holding. You can just do this lift of the lizard. You can bring your back knee down if you need to. Can you bring that arm, that left arm, real close and underneath that left leg? You bring your hands way back. And you have to scoot, scoot, scoot your head forward and press. You're going to be balancing on those arms, reaching out that leg. Reaching, tucking, going vinyasana. Mm -hmm. And then come back, bring your foot back. Take it into your half split. And coming up, working that foot back into that kneeling position. So working on whatever poses they are that you're having to work on. The lift of my know that my healing side is working so hard on my left side to get as strong as my right and breathe. But every day, just working on it a little bit more, a little bit more, and you'll be another year down the road and you'll go, hmm, they're the same again. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Bring it back in. Bring your hands on the stair. Put it in. Knee down. Sit back. Vajrasana. Inhale up. Deep breaths. Let's just do a side twist on the right. Put your heels and your buttocks together there. Keep your buttocks down. And maybe on the left. And then coming out to your tabletops again. Round your back into cat. Reverse into cow. Come to tabletops and tuck your toes. Push back down dog. Tread it out. Looking at your hands. Step jump feet to hands. Powerful pose. Standing on your left, bending your right, bring your hand down. Let's try a little balance here, a little king dancer. So you can stay with this quad stretch, or you can lengthen and lift into your king dancer. And then bring it up to one legged stasana. And down. Deep breath up, big breath. Exhale, fold. Inhale, eyes look. Go do vinyasa. Step 
jump back, turn our arms to up dogs, to downward facing dog, tread it out. Press your chest down a little bit here, puppy dog back, chest down, breathe here. to your chest pose. Now you can stay in those headstands, especially if you're against a wall, and work on some different leg positions. You could go legs open, one knee up, one knee down. Maybe you're doing eight beaters in the sky. Whatever you're doing, you can also do that with your shoulder stance. So when you're inverted, there's a lot of benefits for being inverted. The valves for your heart, you get that free flow of blood, a little easier for the heart, coming back up into your tabletop. All right, let's round our back and let our head drop in and just turn it from side to side. Turn your calf and just take out any tension you might have put in. And then go, go to cow. And then two neutrals, back your toes over straight. Your downward facing dog. And then jump to your bottoms. Into your sukhasanas. Inhale the sky. 
Twist your right, spinal twist, looking over your back shoulder. Inhale, sky. Twist to your left. Inhale, sky. Namaste. Bring your feet up. Step. Inhale up to sky. Exhale, forward bend. Chest moves toward leg. Gazing out over your toes. Taking long, deep breaths. Inhale up again. Exhale, hands down. And we're going to curl back using our core, tucking our navel in, drawing ourselves down into the mat one vertebra at a time until your head comes down. So I'm going to scoot down a little bit. Okay. So in this frame, hug above your knees as you're laying flat on your back. Rocking side to side. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a trick spinal twist. I like a lot of different spinal twists at the end. So let's hook these first and just prep our spine a little bit more, bringing your nose to your knees, lengthening, maybe even holding your feet and lengthening here. And then take a little happy baby, bending your knees. Sukha Balasana, the happiest of babies. Rocking it out. Letting your left leg come down. All right, bending your right. Bring your nose up to your knee on the right knee. And your left hand's gonna stay on that right knee. Your right hand's gonna come out like an airplane wing. And you're gonna pull that right leg over toward that left side. Now, it might be that you pop up here, depending on how tight you are, it might mean you need a block under your left knee because you're tight with your IT band, it's all good. Maybe extending out that top leg and reaching for your foot with your left hand. So your right foot, left hand, looking toward your left. And then maybe, 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 maybe with this, you bend your bottom leg, reach your hand up, find your toe, and pull back the quad stretch on that. Maybe not. Maybe you keep that leg extended. Maybe that shoulder feels tight. Or maybe the quad underneath. So you don't have to take all these binds. You could have this be soft. You could have that leg out or softly bent. You could have that right knee softly bent. You could have the hands on your sides of this. If the shoulder's tight, it's all good. Unbind hands. Bring knees together. Bring it back to center. And just lunge your white leg. So we're just staggering. Side to side with the legs, feet are about hip distance. Hug into chest with both knees again. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Bring your navel in, neutralizing again. Nose to knee. And we're going to take down that right, hugging that left. Squeeze it in just a little bit more so you can get a really good stretch. IT band, back of your hamstrings here. And you can hold it right. Go over to that. The left side goes to the right, the left knee goes to the right. And opening up your airplane arm behind you and lengthen. Just stay with us. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome twist. Or reaching for your big toe, stretching your leg out, maybe holding that. Maybe bending your back leg, finding your foot back there, and doing your quad stretch bind. So you can take any of these or leave out some or just have your knees stacked in a spine. Or one knee soft. Remember, you can go back to the knee soft version here, leg extended version here, both knees together version, any of the above. All right? When you're ready, take a breath. Everybody knees stacked, bring them back to center, rock them out side to side, side to side. Extend the legs out, send the arms out, and prepare for Shavasana. Deepen breath, lengthen spine, relax your feet, relax your calves, relax your hips, relax your shoulders, relax your face, the back of your head, the neck, the fingers, relax your toes, lengthen your spine and lengthen your breath. Inhale, 
deep. And exhale. Inhale again. And exhale. Now as you continue to breathe, lengthen the inhalation. And then the same way you're lengthening the inhalation, your exhale slowly releases. So it's a very slow and long exhale. They call it the reluctant exhale. Letting it out slow and long. And in this way, it's helping you with your brainwave patterns, releasing you and your mind stuff, your monkey mind, releasing the outer thoughts, allowing yourself to go into that meditational mode. If you're feeling a pull in your low back, you could have blocks underneath your knees. If you're having any sciatica or a bolster under your knees or pillow. Uh, or if you have shoulder tightness, you can have something in the back of your head, the back of the neck, and the upper shoulders. I want you to feel at ease. If you are pregnant, you would be on your side, maybe a pillow between your knees. I want you to feel at ease here. I want you to feel completely released and relaxed. Quiet your mind. Find your breath. Inhaling and exhaling slowly, working on that pressure reflex, working on the brain, quieting itself, feeling that all things are possible, seeing the golden light, the joy, seeing the positivity, drawing in energy. Drawing in healing, drawing in the immune builders, drawing in all positive energy, releasing the monkey mind until just Sideline position, softly on the spine. Easing your way up, not in a hurried manner, but just slowly back up onto your bottoms. Come to your Sukhasana. Whatever position feels good to you, but rooted. Hands to heart center. Bowing gently over the edge of our fingertips. As we close, working through vinyasa. Working on our practices, all of us unique individuals, human, we're all experiencing this yoga practice, letting it meet our needs. As we close, in appreciation to the ages old practice, we all say together, mm -hmm.